All right, folks, it's Wednesday morning, relatively quiet overnight session. Right now, about a half a percent higher across the board in the U.S. markets. Now, look at yesterday. We had a volatile session yesterday. 3% moved to the upside in the morning session, and then in the afternoon session, we reversed and actually finished the day lower. So a lot of talk right now about whether this is a bear market rally. Uh, are we getting a little ahead of our skis with this market? So you're going to have a lot of eyeballs focused on today's session and what do we do? Where do we go off of this day we had yesterday? Do we continue to the downside or do we actually pivot and head higher? A uh, couple big headlines that could impact this market, one of which is OPEC. Uh, and we got the OPEC meeting tomorrow. We've talked about this where Russia, Saudi Arabia, the U.S. coming together and speculation is that there could be production cuts, which has got oil moving higher, about 3% higher in oil as we speak right now. Now, any deviation from that or less production cuts or the U.S. not participating, whatever, could definitely put more pressure on oil. So let's keep an eye on that. Also, uh, energy-linked currencies, uh, the dollar CAD, the Canadian dollar, could certainly be impacted uh, by this decision coming out tomorrow. Second of which uh, is the Eurozone. So just like we went through our big stimulus uh, talks a couple weeks ago, uh, the Eurozone is going through their talks. It's, it, uh, coming out of Europe this morning, uh, they failed to come to an agreement. So uh, there's still a lot of uncertainty around what the Eurozone is going to do in response to COVID-19. So that's putting pressure on the European markets down about a percent to a percent and a half right now. So um, again, two trading days left. It's a holiday shortened week. Uh, we've got today and we've got uh, tomorrow. Uh, and there's a lot that could happen uh, in these next two days as we head into the long weekend. So uh, let's keep our eyes focused on the headlines. Uh, we'll be checking back in with you on social media. And I'll see you guys all again tomorrow. Take care.